All right, and now we get to our conversation where we are talking about uh, Kenya-US trade. And with me is Maxwell Lokelo, who is the CEO, American Chamber of Commerce Kenya. And we're going to be discussing about uh, this trade relations and what we mean when we talk about trade relations between one country and the other. Welcome. Thank you very much, Kelvin. All right, Maxwell, let's get right into, into the conversation. First of all, the basics. Mm -hmm. When you talk about Kenya-US trade relations what are we what do we mean what what are we talking about well um when you talk about trade you're really talking about the exchange of goods mm -hmm. and services mm -hmm. between one country and another mm -hmm. it could also be inter country so it could be the trade of goods within a country okay so um that in essence encompasses what trade is so think of your exports into the US in this, this particular case, yes. or imports of various products or goods into Kenya. That would constitute the trade between Kenya and the US. Mm -hmm. Now, trade can also be expanded to include an investment component to it. Mm -hmm. So foreign direct investment into the country can also be considered as part of uh, the trade relationship between two countries. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, as you've explained it, I'll pick mm -hmm. it up from there and ask about, now, when we talk about trade, and we have now the investment, we have the strategic trade and investment partnership between mm -hmm. the two countries. Um, when you talk about the uh, trade and investment partnership between Kenya and mm -hmm. the US, what does this mean? Well. If you remember, if I just take a quick step back. Yes. Sometime in uh, 2020, mm -hmm. Kenya and the US decided to explore what was then going to be a free trade agreement mm -hmm. between our two countries. That was actually uh, slated to be the first free trade agreement between the US and a, an African country mm -hmm. south of the Sahara, so sub-Saharan country. The only other FTA that the US has in Africa is with Morocco. Mm -hmm. So there were two rounds of negotiations that were had, and then there was a change in administration. So with the coming in of the Biden-Harris administration, mm -hmm. they decided to evaluate what had been discussed or negotiated before mm -hmm. um, as an essential process of ensuring that there's a alignment or harmonization with their own priorities. So July of 2022, there was an joint announcement between the government of Kenya and the government of the U.S. that they are exploring a strategic trade and investment partnership. Mm -hmm. In essence, this is a trade arrangement or partnership that seeks to deepen the economic uh, relationship between our two countries and is exploring specific areas of interest. For example, mm -hmm. the growth of small medium enterprises, digital trade, um, good regulatory practices, and so on. There are about 10, maybe 11 areas that mm -hmm. have been identified in this phase. Mm -hmm. The way we see it, this is perhaps an essential first step towards what eventually could be a much more substantive mm -hmm. trade arrangement with the U.S. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, uh, very well explained. And even as we look at this, um, uh, the way you've mentioned, it, it's one of those ones that uh, with an African country. And mm -hmm. when we look at an African country, we are looking at Kenya. So why Kenya? What, is, what makes it uh, peculiar to, uh, to the US about mm -hmm. Kenya? I, I think Kenya is definitely, if I may use this expression, the mm -hmm. poster child. Mm -hmm. When it comes to how we manage our affairs as a country from a political perspective, but also and more importantly for us, from a market perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah? So the business environment in Kenya is seen as one that is quite advanced, one that is market-led. So the, the policies that the government comes up with are actually market-led policies. Mm -hmm. Our development is largely driven by the private sector. And if you take that together with the other factors that Kenya has going for it, for example, our great infrastructure that's being developed over and over. Um, our people, in terms of the, the depth of human talent that mm -hmm. we have or human capital that we have, 
our location mm -hmm. right at the eye of africa as they say I mean, all these then make kenya a very very attractive destination for establishment of entities that are looking at not just kenya but the region mm. so kenya is a hub of operation for several multinationals american multinationals british uk multinationals and so on so kenya i think is in a very is in the driver's seat if you ask me if you talk about sub-saharan africa to really position itself well and drive foreign direct investment into into the country mm -hmm. even speaking about uh, kenya and uh, how um, it's the likely uh, country to look at when we look at sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, what are some of the lucrative sectors that we have um, within Kenya that um, r many foreign countries would look at and say, okay, mm -hmm. I would want to put my foot there and uh, gain some um, mm -hmm. uh, business or uh, maybe operations there? Technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, actually, the entire ICT space, the, the digital economy space is a is a very vibrant one mm -hmm. for kenya um agriculture i think agriculture is a big one that doesn't really need much yes. uh, elaboration <laughs> uh, there's yeah. huge opportunities across various agricultural value chains mm -hmm. just for your information um kenya's agricultural export to the u.s last year hit 180 million u.s dollars mm -hmm. so this is the highest in our history so you can see that there's, there's, there's advancement in terms of that, that particular relationship. Then um, manufacturing specific to apparel manufacturing. Last year, I think by November, we were doing something close to 500 million US dollars mm -hmm. in apparel or textile exports yes. to the US, mm -hmm. which was an improvement of more than 70 million US dollars from the previous year. So there's still quite a bit of depth if you ask me, that can be realized in terms of those three sectors. But that doesn't mean that those are the only ones where there's opportunity. There's opportunity right across health. If you look at the medical diagnostic side of things, there's still quite a bit of depth there. Um, energy, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So th there are several sectors that any investor would be who's keen to get a foothold in this side of, the, of, of Africa mm -hmm. to step into um, and realize gains long term. All right, uh, thank you for that. And now let's also look at uh, the visit by the First Lady um, Jill Biden last week to Kenya. Does it really have any importance on uh, Kenya-US uh, trade relations? It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kelvin, it does. Um, much as that was not a business visit, it did yes. have a commercial component to it. Mm -hmm. um, it serves two purposes, or, or should I say there the are two advantages that come with her visit. One is it really elevated the profile of Kenya in the international scene. I mean, this is the first lady of the U.S. of A. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. the fact that that coming immediately after the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit mm -hmm. uh, in December, mm -hmm. and you have this sort of high-level visit uh, by a U.S. official, it points to the commitment that we are seeing from the U.S. government to really deepen this trade relationship that we have between Kenya and the U.S. Mm -hmm. So that's one. The second one is related to what I've just described. With that raising of Kenya's profile, of course there's awareness that is created and Kenya starts becoming, or, or, or the light is sh shown on Kenya as a possible investment destination. So if you're sitting somewhere in the U.S. and, and, and you're watching CNN, and there's this coverage of Flotus's visit to Kenya. I mean, you would want to pay attention. Why mm. did she make that visit? And as I mentioned, the visit was focusing more on women empowerment and uh, food security. But coupled with that, the profile that it manages to raise for our country, I think is something that is invaluable and will definitely mm -hmm. see uh, value derived out of that. All right, and as we wrap up, um, we were speaking on earlier and you told me America, uh, American Chamber of Commerce, Kenya, there's a summit that is coming, something like that. Mm -hmm. You can explain that to us and give us your uh, parting shot. All right, thank you. Um, so as part of what we do, which mm -hmm. is to promote trade and investment, bilateral trade and investment between Kenya and the U.S., we convene an annual business summit 
um, this year it will be held on the 29th and 30th of March. Mm -hmm. And it brings together the governments of Kenya, US, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and the private sectors of those countries together with the US private sector. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're having three business delegations coming in from the US specifically to attend this summit. And that is over and above American companies that are already present here. So there's opportunity for our own local private sector to build partnerships, yes. to connect with high level uh, decision makers, including policy makers during the summit. So I just want to urge uh, if you're a Kenyan business and you're looking to connect with counterparts from the US to kindly register uh, at www dot amchambizsummit.com okay a-m-c-h-a-m-b-i-z-s-u-m-m-i-t dot c-o-m okay yeah and they get to connect with and they get to connect with 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 the various companies that will be here um and and, and business leaders as well that is 29th and 30th. 29th and 30th of march right thank you so much maxwell for You're joining welcome. us and explaining to us what it means when we say you uh, kenya u.s trade relations i believe uh, you've gotten something from there and you're going to attend that uh, summit and get to connect with this international company that are going to be present all right we're going for a short break we'll be back with more don't go too far